St. Joe's Summer Theater is a student-run organization committed to staging the best production they can. This year, they're putting on the well-known show, The Music Man. The Music Man is about a traveling salesman named Harold Hill, who ends up in this little town uh, in Iowa and ends up trying to swindle the townspeople. His whole con is that he pretends to be a uh, music man, a music professor who can like lead a boys band, so he uses that to sell like band uniforms and instruments to, to all those people. But he ends up getting way more than he bargained for and all this crazy stuff happens and it's, it's a great show and it has a lot of really, really funny and really kind of memorable characters. I think the songs are definitely the highlight of the show. Um, the music is beautiful, um, so simple yet so catchy. Um, the melodies are lovely. The singing, um, the cast is awesome. You all the ensemble singing and our quartet is brilliant. Their voices are beautiful and they blend so nicely. Come for the harmonies, if nothing else. The Music Man is a, kind of an old, like golden age musical. So there's so many songs, you know, uh, Shapoopy, Trouble, um, 76 Trombones is definitely one. Um, Good Night My Someone. Uh, and even Rock Island, which is the starting song, is it's all very, very memorable, very catchy, and very good. Uh, all the songs and dances are a lot of fun. Uh, there's some real snappy, funny dialogue, you know, with a few like a few kind of innuendos in there for the for the older people. But like the the kids, they all fly right over the kids' heads because it was written in the 50s before you could really uh, be be explicit about that kind of stuff. So it's really it's really you know one of the ideal shows to take take the entire family to. But um. Just a lot of singing, a lot of dancing, just a great time, great time all around. I think St. Joe's is really awesome because it's completely student run. Um, so everyone really puts 100% into making this show the best that it can be. Um, the staff members are really great, putting really all their effort into getting this production up and running and preparing the cast to um, perform the show. Every year it's not quite the same cast and every year the entire you know, production comes together and forms a family, you know, and the longer you're here for, the more you feel like you're part of a family. It really amazes me how we can do what we do. It's something that, in my opinion, doesn't always seem like it would work out on paper, but just because of the devotion everyone has to it, the staff members, the cast members, the tech and crew, that everyone really wants to be here. They want to put on a good show that that is really what makes it work. We bond, not because we have to, not because we're just part of a cast and we're, um, and we're with each other for a few hours every night, but because we want to. We want to hang out we, with each other. We want to get to know each other. We want to make um, the chemistry on stage be as real and palpable as possible. And that only works by fostering relationships off stage and the relationships are really strong. Um, I've made a lot of friends from doing the, um, the SJST. The shows are August 6th, 7th, and 8th. The 6th and 7th, the performances are at 7.30 in the evening. At the, all three performances are at the Newman Carlton Auditorium. Um, the Saturday show is at 2 o'clock, a matinee. It's family friendly, and I think that a lot of people would really enjoy coming out and watching it. It's definitely worth one of your weekend nights.